All right, I've attached the uh, head back onto the uh, horse, and you can see how this is going to be designed. What I'm going to do right now is do the horse's windpipe, or whatever they call it, esophagus. Time to play with some clay. I decided I'm going to go ahead and make the base for this uh, clay. I don't want to use a lot of clay, so I'm going to use uh, aluminum foil to do that with. It might seem a little like I'm just putting a screw in to keep the uh, aluminum foil from shifting. But I'm saving myself probably a pound of clay by doing this. And uh, clay's expensive. As soon as I can afford to get some taxidermy foam, I'll do that with that instead of with this. But until then, I'll use this. I'm probably going to use two pounds of clay on top of this uh, aluminum foil instead of three pounds. <laughs> the reason I wanted to get this base going is it gives me a visual of exactly where the ground's going to be. I think I know how I'm going to have this braced up so that once it's in bronze, because the only leg that's going to be touched on the ground is this one. And I can't, I could, but they'd have to put a steel rod inside the uh, bronze to support the bronze. And that would cost a fortune. 
And uh, I've had it done before. I did a sculpture years ago uh, of a bronc buster and he was, the horse was on the one front leg and they put a steel rod in that uh, horse's leg to so it wouldn't start drooping <laughs> and uh it, it didn't cost much back then but it will today because the price of everything has gone up in the last couple of years the uh, cost of producing a bronze has almost doubled since COVID hit and uh, it hasn't gone down. The latex rubber <coughs> that they uh, make the uh, mold of the uh, clay uh, from uh, or uh, with has uh, more than doubled in cost so it costs more to have a mold made all right that base is covered I'm going to shape it a little bit okay this will just even out the uh, base a little bit years ago I went riding with a uh, local saddle maker he rode a mule i was riding a horse and we were going to ride around the foothills of uh, the gravelies right here in the valley the gravelies is a mountain range on the western end or western side of the uh, madison valley where i live and uh, he was riding a mule, and that mule was an ornery son of a gun, and he was trying to get the ornery out of it, and he bu got bucked off by the mule, and uh, the mule went running back towards the uh, ranch, and uh, I offered him my horse to go get it. He says, no, by golly, I'm going to go back there and I'm going to get back on that mule. And he went limping off. Well, I didn't know it at the time, but he had broken his leg. And he was not going to give up on that mule, even if it hurt him. He was going to teach that mule a lesson. And we did finish our ride. He did get the mule. That just shows you the toughness that you have have to have to be a uh, rancher. And uh, Rick is definitely a tough person. And he makes great saddles. My studio used to be right next door to his saddle shop. And I learned a lot about how saddles are constructed by being there. All right, enough blab blabber. It's time to get busy on the, the horse again. I decided to uh, put his ears back instead of forward. And uh, I think it looks better. Yeah. Okay. Before I can put the saddle on, I've got to get the uh, anatomy right. I'm trying to decide whether to do the, uh, 
saddle out of monster clay or wax. It's got to be a tougher material. I'm probably, I'm leaning towards monster clay. I'm going to have to straighten these uh, armatures out for the uh, legs. I'm going to have to extend the legs a little bit. They're not, they're a little too short. And so... It's getting that electrician's tape to uh, attach to the uh, uh, wire that's hard. Okay, I gotta get this aluminum wire straightened out too. I wanna leave myself enough wire I can work with. Alright, I'm going to have to carry this on tomorrow. I want to get my anatomy uh, reference material for the body of the horse. And uh, for the legs and all that stuff. So, I'm going to do that tonight. It's getting late in the afternoon. I got a late start today. So, Alright, I think you can see how this is going to look. It's going to look great with the uh, cowboy on the back of it too. I just need a little more information on the body. No matter how many horses I've done, I still need my reference material. I guess if I was a real cowboy, I'd be able to do it from memory, but uh, I'm not a cowboy, so I need my reference. Everybody have a great night, and I'll see you uh, tomorrow. Good night. If you like this video, please like and subscribe to my channel. It really would help me. Also, check out the link below this video. It will take you to a review of my nine instructional videos that could be very helpful to you if you're thinking of sculpting. Good night, everybody.